Terry, I bet there was some celebrating at your house at the weekend. It's a little football. Hey, what, Terry, I don't know where the weekend went then. We were just, just potted around the house. We were, we were going to have a barbecue and the weather turned nasty. We ended up just going down the pub and having some of the weekend there. You know your job so well, you think you could do it blindfolded. I've known Terry for over 20 years. He'd get to a quarry every morning, bang on time, just like clockwork, playing that same rubbish radio Check station. Out as last night. Everybody liked Terry. He was always laughing and joking. Nobody had a bad word to say about him. Hey, Terry. I bet there was some celebrating at your house at the weekend. It's all football. I remember he loved his football. Oh, and walking that dog of his, Winston. I think he walked him every morning before he come to work. God, he must have had to get up with the larks to be able to do that. Hey, what, Terry, I don't know where the weekend went then. We were just, just potted around the house. We were, we were going to have a barbecue and then the weather turned nasty. We ended up just going down the pub and having some of the weekend there. The thing about Terry is I always thought he was so careful. Man, he took his job really seriously. He'd been driving dumpers for longer than most of us had been driving cars. We used to say it's his natural habitat. He always used to say to me, I love my job, and after all these years, I reckon I could do it blindfolded. I just don't know what he was thinking that day. It was just so unlike him. He must have had something on his mind. Terry says he was only distracted for a moment, just didn't follow procedures looking round him thoroughly and checking his cameras before reversing away from stockpile. Of course, shot firers shouldn't have been walking behind his truck in the first place. <laughs> but in the end, it was Terry's responsibility to keep a look at. He never come back to work, just sits at home all day, staring into space. I suppose it's guilt. Shot fire at a wife and two daughters. No more than toddlers. Could you live with yourself after that? Just because you do something every day doesn't mean you can take shortcuts. If you do, you might as well be doing it blindfolded. Whatever you're doing, stop and think. Fortunately, that accident never happened in real life. But it shows graphically what can so easily happen if we relax our concentration or don't follow the rules. I don't have to remind you that we work in a dangerous industry. No matter how competent you are, or how long you've been doing your job, accidents can still happen. And familiarity can be just as dangerous as inexperience. And when accidents happen, as the film shows, the consequences can be devastating. Not just for you, but for your family, your colleagues, and the families of those that you may have hurt. This is the first in a series of films we'll be showing you over the next few months. They all have one thing in common. They'll show the shocking impact that carelessness, inattention, or negligence can have on others. And some will even be based on real incidents 
which have happened in our own quarries. We hope they will make you stop and think. No matter what you're doing or how long you've been doing it for, follow the rules. They're rules for a reason. And remember, it's your responsibility to ensure that your colleagues, as well as you, get home safely at the end of every day.